Have you ever read a book with an author that knew the ending and totally tricked you for the rest of the book? Well, if you want that book, it's right here in my hand. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome fantasy book. Castle in the Air, a companion to Howl's Moving Castle, which I will borrow from the nearest library and read in a short time. This book is by Diana Wynne Jones, and the main character is Abdullah. Abdullah is a young carpet merchant who always daydreams about him be actually being a prince from a faraway land, and that he has a lovely princess that she loves. He falls in love with, and one day a stranger sells him a magic carpet that can fly and follow his commands. Then, then at first he thought it was a dream. The carpet takes him, transports him to a beautiful princess called the Flower in the Night, and uh, Abdullah immediately falls lo in love with her. For uh, for the Flower in the Night was the princess that she, she, he had made up in his daydreams. And Abdullah finds out that it is not a dream at all, but it's actually true, and that the magic carpet has transported him there every night. And then, he and then a wicked genie who is being controlled by his brother, who was actually supposed to be a good genie, comes down and takes away the princess. And she finds out a plot, a plot to capture every single princess in the entire world. And so, Abdullah and a magical carpet that has to be soothed and praised for it to work, and a character soldier who isn't just what he seems to be, a uh, annoying genie that never gets his wish, that all oh, that can be given one wish for each day, and also is very annoying. And a cranktorous black cat that seems to annoy him in every turn. Well, Abdullah, nothing is seemingly true. And all I have to say is that the book actually, Abdullah and Flower in the Night, becomes happy in the end. And they become united. Abdullah goes on many adventures, many hardships to reach the castle in the air, which was coincidentally one of the most famous, the home, the stolen home of one of the most famous wizards of all time. Let's say a certain moving castle from a certain wizard. Ha, got anything in mind? Maybe some who start with an age, you know, and was a L. Remarkably sarcastic and so on. You know who it is? Howl. Howl the Royal High Wizard. Well, Abdullah, now he has a mission. He has to rescue all the princesses. Rescue, court, and rescue, and marry with the flower in the night. Beautiful flower in the night. And... He also has to take back Howl's Moving Castle. Nothing is at as it is seemed. Like I told you, the whole book tricks you for the whole time. And the genie, well, he is probably one of the most magical, most annoying beings in the entire universe. Well, it was a great book. And personally, I was very impressed with the author. She is Diana Wynne Jones, and she is a girl. She is a feminine woman. But yet, the main character is Abdullah, who is a boy. I personally, a um, man or authors who are male have male main characters, and authors who are female have female main characters. And it's actually really hard to have a main character that's not your gender, because you, if, if you're an author, you have to put yourself into your character's shoes to make it real, to breathe life into your literature world. But it's extremely hard if it's your main character is another gender, because you're not that gender, it's that simple. 
But Diana Wynne Jones, she totally broke that barrier and made Abdullah very realistic. And I, I almost thought that a male person wrote this book. And she is a dimension breaking author. And this book is an awesome, mind blowing, and slightly frustrating, but also fun book. I'm just telling you, this book has the biggest twists in the end. Actually, I might even call it the book of all twists. And like always, your bookwester, I'm the bookwester. Have a good day, guys, and goodbye.